This case is about a client that wanted to use mass spectrometry for detailed documentation of their ATP removal throughout the purification process. They used the exact same assay for early process design and therefore they did not have to set up a new one. During the qualification stage of process validation, the design of the process must be evaluated to determine if it can deliver quality product consistently. This is done with a process performance qualification, a PPQ phase. Whole cell proteins are process-related impurities and must be monitored during both process development and manufacturing. The client chose mass spectrometry since it can document both total and individual ATPs, even in complex process samples. The process for this client's E. coli expressed recombinant protein consisted of these six purification steps. The three DMP batch runs resulted in 52 samples that were collected for PPQ analysis. In this graph, the number of ATPs in each process step is presented. It is highly consistent between the three PPQ runs. Besides looking at the total number of ATPs, the client could follow individual ATPs in the process steps. Here you see a comparison of specific ATPs between batches and purification steps. In this way, the client could document a consistent removal of individual ATPs. This level of detail would not have been possible with ELISA, and the client have now included the data in their BLA.